Looks like we got a false PG. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it every single time now. <laughs> it's annoying to edit, and I can't be bothered. Anyway, let's roll. Today is gonna be a different episode, ladies and gentlemen. There's gonna be the false PG and the rounds in one. It's gonna be a double whams, ladies and gentlemen. A double whams. That's right. I want to get through this game before Christmas, so this is what we're gonna start doing. <laughs> I'm not going to split them up as much, so I hope you don't mind. Anyway, hidden machines. I failed to mention this earlier, but I have a proposition for all of you. It is something of an extension of Crown Prince Jerry's request. But if you have the time, would you consider taking on the job? I'm waiting for you at the park in Newtown. Sergeant Lieutenant Kaila McMillan. Yes, I will do that. Everything to do with the uh, giant robot, so I want them. Oh, <laughs> request on CID, eh? It's intriguing for sure. What will they want to talk to us about? I'm not going to say no to a potential rendezvous with Kayla. Aaron, stop simping after every... I mean, I get it, and I do the same thing, but calm down. How about you? God damn it. You, you're an animal, you know that? you got one thing on your mind, honestly. Also, yeah, we have to use Aaron, because Rosette is injured. I mean, I don't, I don't mind too much, because Aaron is built, yes. I always think... Wait, do you have equipment on? You do. I always forgot I did build him really well, and then... I got reset and then that was it, really. Well, hello there. That's very convenient. You're literally within eyesight. Boom. Uh, so you checked the bulletin board, did you? Yes, which you could probably tell from where you're standing. <laughs> yes. Me writing a <gasps> force PG. Almost got you. I never thought I'd see the day. Second Lieutenant Caleb. Wouldn't have killed you to be more direct instead of going the force PG route. So am I speaking to Caleb or am I speaking to the CID? You're sharp. It's basically a bit bureaucratic, but uh, I submitted this request in the CID stead. It concerns the armed machines that were released in the city. Oh, no, it's probably like that. I was hoping it would be the giant pair of legs up there, but no. It concerns the armed machines that were released in the city during yesterday's attack. We confirmed that around half of the numbers were destroyed, while most of the others retreated with a mercy. But we've also received word that two high-spec high units might still be at large within the city. I mean, you'd hear the screams and the gunfire, right? Boom. Seriously? We did encounter a few machines fitting that description yesterday. I see. Yeah, please probably have their hands full of them. You need a clean-up crew. That's also the Jimin. We're too badass. But Marduk and the guild don't really tickle your fancy. Have I got that right? Exactly. Marduk's involvement was the result of the president's more heavy-handed approach. We're not too fond of them. This is more a matter of professional pride than anything. Special forces are due to arrive in the evening, and they're sure to complicate things. We'd much rather solve this problem ourselves. That's Hercules squad, right? They're coming in. So you want to loan us out to the CID for the day? Is that right? It's not just the CID. The Principality requested this too. I assume. And whatever the case, we really can't have those things running loose. There's a mark on my laptop. Oh no. Boom. Makes sense. Eh. Our curiosity was this Lene um, Kincaid's idea. He's pulled together his own task force to address the problem. They're negotiating with the President's office as we speak. At the risk of divulging too many details, he's been pushing for a separate division meant specifically for these tasks. Yeah, that checks. Guys, is awful to a fool. I'm curious if he's gonna be bad. You know what I mean? I feel like one. I feel like one of Van's childhood friends is gonna be bad because I can see that dynamic playing out. You know, all, and they try to win him back over for the rest of the games. I can see. I mean, he's more likely to be evil than Elaine, obviously. So maybe I don't know. This really is a job for Marduk or the guild. But I guess the CID doesn't want to swallow its pride. Oh. That was like acting, that was. We ain't exactly free, though. Just the, is the thing. We've got other jobs to do. Actually, we don't. This is literally the only for us to keep. So we're good to go. Law and... I want chaos. I want to get the... The hollow core. Anyway. Yes, I accept Miss Kayla. Also, Aaron asked me if you, you go out of him. So... Keep that in the back of your mind. You can say no, but just try and... Put it easy on him. He's a bit stupid. Anyway, eh, I guess we can look into this on the side. Lay it on me. Man, you might find a lead on... Why is everyone so surprised? We accept every force BG. So imagine what would happen if you ignored them all. I know you have to do a few, but I wonder if you just ignored every one, what well, that would happen. You might find a lead or something. You have my gratitude. Here's what we know about these rogue models, eh, Jimin? They're most probably the same as the models employed by Vegas Films in The Bad. <gasps> it's the ones that shoot out their ass, I bet. Hate those things. Oh, those assholes! Exactly, Aaron. And two of them at that. You fought them before. They sound like a real hassle. Yes, they are. Yep, because they are. But how are they hiding in the city to begin with? They're too big. 
They got some kind of optical camo or something? Not to our knowledge. The X-Alba has been patrolling and scanning the city from above since yesterday. That's the giant epic looking futuristic ship, you know what I'm saying? Marduk has cleared out the smaller units we've found, but the two large units have yet to be located. Probably behind that lovely fenced off area, you know what I'm saying? King K does have a theory. He suspects that they're hiding in plain sight and that using some sort of radar jamming device to avoid detection. Oh my god, they're right over there! <laughs> That'd be funny that they're sitting, they're, they're right by that bench all along, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Why am I saying you know what I'm saying? I never say that that often. Anyway, hmm, I do remember hearing about special materials that can absorb or detect, deflect orbital waves. I am recording. Good. Yes. Which means we're probably looking for a container made of such material, likely brought into the city recently. Either that or a van big enough to hold them. Probably pretty simple to deck one of those out and anti radar stuff. The truck, right? Because Alex in the receptionist. I only remember this because I'm editing it as we speak. Not as we speak, but just like an hour before. He mentioned there was a funny truck associated with the company, so... Mm. No idea whether our matters driving it around themselves, though. Or if they contracted it out to somebody. Think you can look into suspicious containers and transport vehicles for us? We'll focus on the stuff that's out on the road. We split up and we should have this cleared up pretty quickly. Understood. I'll mobilize the local authorities and notify Vern and the Artisans Guild. If either of us make any headway, let's keep each other posted. Thank you very much. Damn. I wanted to screenshot that game. Rude. So what's the move? We hunt down every wayward van in town. We'll be out here all day. True. Traffic in and out has closed. Plenty of vehicles remain inside city limits. The main artery... Arteries? Ah, okay. because uh, of roads. Kind of like veins, right? I get where you're coming from, Mr. Scientist. Fan out in all sorts of directions. Searching them all will be time consuming. We got the cops on site, so we can leave the crowd control to them. We just got to pinpoint where the transport's most likely to be. New town in the artisanal district make the most sense to me. They've got the most traffic freight, especially. Again, it will lag in the least demanding moments, okay? We get lucky, or I guess unlucky in this case, and we might fish up a robot. Roger, yep. so we need to find people who drive stuff a lot. Hmm, why do you lag? Let's start asking around. Time to start I working. don't know why it lags in conversation. Not in combat, if everything's flashing. No, not that, no. In just random conversations. No. Anyway. Well, obviously, someone drives around a lot. It's clearly going to be you. Is that Ren? No, it's not. Are you, Sasha? She's the one that's on the phone to someone sus. You have a big part to play, I reckon. Ugh, oh, Albert. It's always you, isn't it? Let me ask you something. I pick up just as I did that. Let me ask you something. Can we talk? For fuck's sake, game. Give me the one thing I want. Oh, nice food. A sketchy transport vehicle. Let me think about that for a sec. All the cars go by, so... Well, now you mention it. There was something funny this morning. There was? What did you see? Any details would be great, no matter how small. So, you know, you've got a whole lockdown thing. And it got me thinking about how I wanted to do business today. And I figured, you know, people are still hungry. People need a pick-me-up. So I'm in way out here. I'll be yet a little later than usual. And this big old transport van camp comes up. And something about it just seems weird, you know? Weird. Were they driving all funny? Whee! Yes. The opposite, actually. There was this little empty soda can sitting on the road. In the road. And the transport just ran over it. Like, made no attempt to avoid it. The whole van kind of shook a little. Got spooked and bowled out of the way. The van just drove away like nothing happened. The nerves on that driver, honestly. Stone cold. Oh, huh. sounds like there's more to this story. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, because then it turned right at that fork in the road ahead. And when it did, I heard a thud. I think whatever it was moving got shuffled around. Mm, it's in the back of the van then. At first I thought maybe it was some machining tool funking around in there. But you think they, uh, they stack them so that they don't do that. They would do that. But like before, you just drove off right. Drove right off without care. First video of the day, I can't record. Tight works. I, would, I almost feel, felt like I was just imagining things. I see. Did you catch what makes the vehicle what make the vehicle was? Uh, yeah, it was a Red Star, a big one, probably some delivery company. But it didn't have a logo or branding or anything on it. The van was just a mark. Kind of hella sus, there, Jim. Yeah, that's a bit whack. <laughs> it's all whack. Oh, Aaron, thanks a bunch, bud. That's really good. Some really good info. Glad to hear it. Anything to help? Goddess knows we all need it right now. You're right, Willie. But her things are looking up. They said they're gonna open up the roads back up tonight. 
Just gotta hold out a little longer. I can't read. Why? My god. Mm -hmm. We'll find a way. Thank you very much. Oh, Let's very. Relax. That just appeared, right? Is this not it? That. Uh. Hello? Also, is Aaron stuck? He is. Are we not gonna. Hey, what? Where's the mission gone? What the hell? What the hell is happening? Isn't this it? Oh, I didn't set it. Search for people who use it. It's clearly this, right? <laughs> what? What? Okay, oh, whatever game. I'll do your shenanigans. I'll go around the Off entire place just to realize it's that truck. Honestly, sometimes game, you do make me wonder. Where do I have to go? Oh, oh police! Lovely. We love to see it. Oh, if... Or was it down here? Ooh. No, it's definitely... It's clearly the big giant one, but whatever. Boom! Let's pretend we didn't see that. Let's pretend that didn't exist, and we go on like we're blind. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Yes! God damn, I thought that today's a good day. It's already better than it was. You want to know if I've seen a suspicious freight truck? Bit of an thing to ask. Uh, well, yes it is. Sorry for just jumping that on. Nah, I'm just giving you guff. Guff. That means fart over here, so he's saying he's farting at us. Very rude. Did I actually see something like that last night? <gasps> you did? So what was suspicious What was suspicious about it? Well, deliveries last night were all, were all way behind schedule because of all the craziness in the city. We eventually got everything sorted out. Even with that big old eye in the sky watching us all. Oh, I didn't actually check. Is it still up there? Probably is. So I finally wrap up my work. It's late at night and I'm tired as hell. I start driving back toward my home on the edge of town. I'm waiting at one, at one of the lights. And then I see this giant Red Star truck pull up next to me. <gasps> nah. We know where it is. Okay. <laughs> had a really weird colour scheme to it. Never seen a Red Star painted like that. Had to be from out of town, I figured. But I figured, hey, he's a, ty he's a tired old dog like me, driving your ass o'clock. I'll give him a wave. Look out the window and... And, uh... Suspense. Nah, forget it. When I say it out loud, it sounds ridiculous. I must have just been seeing things. Hey, come on, don't leave us hanging. Yeah, God damn it. Might not have seen, been seeing things after all. Won't you tell us, please? Oh, all right, all right. Just don't laugh at me, okay? Don't laugh at him. I know what you're like. I looked out the window and there was no one behind the wheel. Just no <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was? <laughs> Sorry. Actually, believable, I know. Huh? What do you mean? Just nobody in the driver's seat at all? To drone. I'm as puzzled as you are. Before I could really process it, the light turned green and the truck rolled on the way. I had to put my eyes back on the road after that. I never saw that truck again. It only really dawned on me when I got home. And the, the one that was down there had no one in it either. The same. Maybe the driver was just on the short side. <laughs> it's just... No, I can't say those words. They'll get me in trouble. It's on the short side. The truck was definitely taller than mine too. Maybe I just couldn't see him. Either that or... Again, I was tired as all get out. I might have just been seeing things. <laughs> so yeah, that's how it seemed to me at the time. But honestly, it was probably nothing. Moral of the story here is that everyone needs their sleep. You can't go burning the midnight oil just because you can, you know? It's true. Because I'm an old man now at 30, I have to sleep. Oh, I just can't work. Function. Lesson learned, yeah? We'll take care of ourselves. Take it easy yourself, yeah? Sounds like the kind of thing a, good, a single good night's sleep won't fix. Oh, for sure. City's sealed off until tonight, so I'm going to try and take it slow while we've got nothing to do. Nice. We've got way more clues here than I expected. Nah, I know. Two accounts we heard both involve the Red Star Transport. Which one could it be? Hmm. Which leads me to believe we are dealing with one and only one vehicle. I'm still freaking out about the whole driverless truck thing. I'll very I'll protect you, don't worry. Don't blame you. The fact it happened at night turns this whole thing into a bona fide ghost story. It's probably a logical explanation though, drones. And I'm sure Catcher can provide it. Wait, for real? Oh, this is related to the technology that they have. Ah, oh, wake up me. Oh, is it related to the technology you have inside of knowledge about? Correct. I believe it is utilizing tech that is currently in the R&D phase of development in many countries. It's called an automated vehicle, and it allows a person to go from place to place without lifting a finger. So Holocore is doing the driving. That's cool, man. The fact that it kept going in spite of the empty soda can make me strongly suspect it's an AI-controlled vehicle. My suspicions were correct, then. Ren told me a little about this before. Wow, it's so cool. 
So that means it wasn't a ghost. <laughs> oh, Barry, you're so adorable. And I killed a ghost for you, okay? I'll do it. Well, you never know. Maybe there was a driver. Did a shitty job working the death. Now he lives on a ve as a ve vengeful ghost behind the wheel. Wait, what's that? Oh, shit, it's right behind you. Aaron, I swear down. Do not bully Fairy. We've been over this. <gasps> Why ye? Oh, God, so adorable. <laughs> hey, there's nothing there. You have my permission to shoot him, Fairy. Not like in the face, just like his leg or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face. Sorry. I was actually trying to do a more natural laugh. But I choked on water before I recorded, and now I die inside, so I can't. Why are you like this? You want me to stop calling you a kid? Stop acting like one. <laughs> Back on topic. There was an incident regarding the unmanned driving tech. Everyone in the underworld was going on and on about it at the time. So I'm amazed this thing is driving around the city without causing any problems. Kind of insane. I'm not too surprised. We can prevent most accidents by connecting it to the traffic management system and the info on the city roads. Technology should be state of the art. In fact, I expect it's... The same tech that caused Professor Callahan's downfall. Oh, I I'm sorry, Catra. You've nothing to be sorry for, and I'm all right, promise. Now's not the time to wallow in sentimentality. Nailed that. Oh, itch on my nose. What's the plan, Van? The eye's functionality and patterns could make it quite difficult to capture. I know. Normally I'd be fine with dumping this on, in, on the second lieutenant or the cops, but I'm a car lover at heart, and I do not like seeing them be used as vehicles bringing weapons into the city. This shit is personal. Seriously, Van, you have a problem. <laughs> Figures, well, any bright ideas, Chief? First order of business is seeing how far this AI can really go. Also, I'm going to bring on some outside help for this gig. What kind of outside help? Um, do you have somebody in mind? Yep, I heard that they'd be here. Van used his cipher to get in touch with some familiar faces in Brazil. The party then headed to the Motor Pavilion in Newtown, where they were waiting. Oh, it might be, might be the uh, car gang people. Well, let's go on then, I suppose. It's, I wonder Up if it's still go. there. I'm curious. Is the truck going to still be here? It's you. It's got to be that, right? If it's not, I'm going to feel really stupid, but that just seems like we're just ignoring the one giant truck that's here. <laughs> anyway, let's roll. Yeah, I was right. It was you two. Hello there. <laughs> Ah, Van, so did we get all that right? You want us kings of the road to chase down an AI intruder, huh? <laughs> don't underestimate him. You really don't know what you're getting into. Um, neither do I, to be honest. It's all right, Barry. Like I said, I'll sacrifice Aaron and catch her for you. I'll do it. it. does sound hard to believe. Yeah, I couldn't really go into the depth of the cool. Sorry. <laughs> That's freaky. A giant van just driving around all by itself. And it's carrying assault robots inside it, too? Yeah, it's pretty far-fetched, but honestly, I'm intrigued, as am I. We street racers take pride in our skills, and I'm not allowed to let some beep boop bastard one up me. <laughs> well, being an AI, it can process things much faster than you at catch up. Not them time to do it, are you? These are car nuts that will kill you. Without a plan to catch it, they will probably outmaneuver you. No sweat, we'll show that bucket of bolts what real people can do. There we go, perfect timing. What's the plan, Van? Well, here's what I'm thinking. We get my truck and your two cars. Van outlined his pre plonged attack to the group using a map of Basel's roads for reference. Making sure not to overlook the robots themselves, he made combat pe preparations as well. We're so fighting one. Yes, because he always gives you an opportunity to build characters. I like that, but I do like that. Yup, yeah, we're all set here. We've got our cars ready to go. When we get this shit on the road, combat will ensue upon beginning the operation. Well, I mean. That's literally telling us it's going to happen. But it's recommended that the party is equipment. Yes, it is. Aaron is ready, so let's roll. I prefer it to be reset, but whatever. What are you going to do? Let's hit the road. She's going to be fine, okay? She'll heal. You got a bead on a transport catcher? Yes, I pinged them on the traffic network. They're patrolling the streets in a specific pattern. We're due to come by here in around 20 minutes. Mm. Was that blue? Is that blue? Did I get the wrong truck? God damn it! I thought it was so obvious! I was so like. It was too. Anyway, tinted glass too. Sorry. The transport has probably optimized its driving style to evade pursuers. I still can handle it. Safety first, remember? Don't overextend. Best of luck! I felt. Oh, okay, it was too obvious. I was gonna say. It looks. It was like, well, it's there, but it's not. Okay. They saw that coming. Mm -hmm. Damn. Wish you could take me for a ride like that. Aaron. She really is her uncle's niece. 
They're keeping clear of the other cars so far. So good. How's the traffic looking? God, speak really quickly. No congestion as far as I can tell. We can get it cornered. Oh, damn game, slow down. I can't read this quick. I like his car, by the way, the yellow one. Oh, we're cornering. Oh, to stop, make the AI stop. That's not a bad idea, actually. Because the AI can't hurt people. We got it! Sorry. Perfect. Get the CID, the Basil Police, and the Traffic Guys. Boom. Right. This is catch up. I invoke emergency authority to request a temporary road closure. I'd move your car, my darling. You're literally... They're going to come out the back and take your car out, right? Looks like it gave up. Machines can do even do that. I don't know. Perhaps it simply wasn't programmed to handle these sorts of situations. Yes. Nah, it ain't that easy. Actually, I'll come out the side, right? Maybe. The machines are booting up. Unifat Graham, get back! R right. So it was carrying those things. Oh, it's the big, big ones. And there's two of them. And I don't have Rosette. Oh, God! <laughs> so, so, these are warrior models. I see what you mean. They're from Madut, no doubt. Yeah, those are the ones from the Vegas film. Nice hair. Oh my God. All right. Two at once is going to be tough. Be careful, guys. On the flip side, we know how they work. Let's send them to the scrapyard where they belong. Let's go. Their joints are their weak points, according to Rosette. Focus on those. Oh, funny Rosette was here. Let's get him up for work. It's on the street. Time for you to focus. Ooh. Of course they get a crit turn. Immediately, because screw us. Anyway, I'll see you guys in five hours when we beat this thing. Boom. Get wrecked, my dudes. That was very simple. They looked epic, and their skills were, like, really fancy, but they did, like, no damage, and you're dead. Go on, fairy, finish it off. Plus, Aaron almost one shot with his s -craft. I always forget how hard his s hits. And it hit about 16k in the end, so respect to Aaron. And he's got, he's not got the best stuff on. So, Aaron is a very good oh shit s -craft spam. Boom! We, ha <laughs> we got him! Aw, oh, thanks. <laughs> oh man, that was like a movie shot. I would have stood I would have stood way far back than that, wouldn't you? They were only just slightly to the side. Heh, <laughs> now what you got? Aaron, you almost one shot. Respect. Heh <laughs> heh. That felt so much easier than the one we took down in Darban. It really did. It says info really came in handy here. <laughs> How often do you go go Oh my god, why can't I not talk? How often do you go around fighting things like that? Oh, he's died. I mean, ain't like we want to. Just sort of this all happens. We just have to kill stuff. It's how it is. Now let's figure out how to shut off that auto drive thingy. Right, I'll get to work on. Oh, huh? Is that? Oh, it's on my note. You shitting me? There's another one. Get back! He was invisible. Ah. Whoa. That looks different, right? Is that a better one? I mean, exceed display. This isn't going to be Genesis, right? <laughs> Look out! Get away! From, get away from that thing! Oh wait, at Van did say, oh no, he didn't, anyway. A, a third one? Seriously? That's the way for us to let our guard down. My god, the fire's on them. People will be into that. I hold it off. You guys get back up. Guild, Marduk, whoever, I don't care. Van, don't, huh? What are you? Are we actually Genesis-ing? Graham and, are they allowed to see it? What the, what's that inside her purse? Don't be a hero, dipshit, this is serious. No need, backup has arrived. Oh, there she is. I was going to say, are you really going to use the Grendel in public? That's not a good idea. Kayla. Uh, uh, and. Oh. <laughs> you let your guard down. The size of that weapon. <laughs> Shit, close your Perish. eyes. That was a. That was cool. Get. Yeah. An optical weapon? That's his Buster Lance. That's an epic name as well. He showed me it back when one, home once. Look at that weapon! Screw green shot. Incredible. See how you earned your title, Kamzin. Kamzin? I don't know. You had a measure of the situation from the very start, didn't you? This was nothing more than our response as a part of crisis management. Our firm's concierge has previously analyzed the situation. I will leave the rest to the CID and the local police, as well as them. Farewell. Just give Barry a hug. Hmm. Oh, he smiled a bit. Kind of. Maybe he's proud of Barry. Cassim, that attack was incredible. We took out the robot in one fell swoop. 
Went right for the joints too, just like she said. He looked like he barely lifted a finger. And he had to go, whoop, pachoo. Damn. Well, this is Marduk's ace we're talking about. That's just what he does. But hey, all's well it ends well, right? We still get credit for that. <laughs> that in and of itself is aggravating. When I'm in, the, in no position to complain. Anyway, thank you for completing my request. Given you did hunt down three units instead of two, your reward will be adjusted accordingly. Thanks, much thanks to you two as well. I give some of the payment to them as well. They deserve it. Plus, she she deserves a new car already. Oh, he, we didn't do much. Hey, I'm just glad I got to have a good race. Do I steal in the spotlight? What are we, chop liver? Yes. Yeah, I still got a long way to go before I can rival my brother. You'll get there, fairy. In fact, she already is there. She'll beat him one day. I'm just glad we put stop, stop to those robots for good. Even if it wasn't all of us. Yeah, you yeah, have my thanks as well. Who knows what damage they would have caused if it left unchecked. Don't sell yourself short, bud. You helped a bunch too. He did nothing. <laughs> Sorry. Plenty more where that came from. Let's keep our matter on their toes. Right, of course. God damn it, shoplifting song before everyone goes to crap. With some fiddling, Catcher managed to decouple the auto drive unit from the transport vehicle. <laughs> After local authorities conducted their own investigation, the traffic restrictions were lifted, and all was back to normal. Now that's one drop behind us. Well, that was easy. Nice. Boom! That's no more money. We killed an extra robot and we got nothing more for that. God damn it, game. Bing, bing, bing. I mean, how... How would you get more than three? Three looks like... Looks like it will take an entire other game to get to four. <laughs> oh, well. Boom. Well, that was quick and easy. All right, then. Respect. All right. So, yes, I'm going to do the rounds now because we're doing the double whams. Even if this episode is like an hour and... 500 hours long with doing that. I mean, let's start by talking to Kada since she's sharp. After yesterday and then this, I see now why the analysts speak so highly of you. <laughs> Bye, thank you. So I'll be back. I'll back you up all the way. That's a promise. Let's see how much we can corner the enemy before the task force arrives. Hmm. We'll solo it. Don't worry about it. We've mm, heard everything from the second lieutenant. Thank you for your cooperation, everyone. I can't believe an AI was driving a transport. I know. Goddamn robots. But at any rate, I'm glad we got things taken care of. In spite of all the chaos and confusion. Now, yes, the police are starting to do their job a bit. Not a lot, but they're starting to do things. And it makes me happy, because they did nothing for like... Almost four chapters. All right. Anyway, yes, let's get the rounds going. Thanks, Medus, you were awesome. I hope the extra pay that we got went to them, because they deserve it. I actually got some money from... Yes! I was just saying that. Hey, I'm that Kayla lady after what happened. I told her I didn't need it, but she insisted she wanted to thank me for the help. So what do I spend it on? Maybe I'll get me some souvenirs. You deserve a new car. Didn't you want a new car? Put it towards that. Boom. I was awfully rattled there, but I'm glad we managed to help. Again, they should have stood up further back. They were literally just... They were in the firing range of that entire fight. They're hardcore, they're Jim. But I still feel really on edge. The city's on lockdown. Cops are crawling all over the streets. It just doesn't feel safe anymore. Oh, damn the announcers. Just promise me you guys won't do anything crazy like before, got it? I can't, I can't promise that. We're, so, we're probably going to die. God it's forbid you get caught up in another attack. Also, I forgot. Isn't there a... Um, is this ship in the sky? I didn't look. There it is. Look at that. How epic is that looking thing? Oh my god. Makes the Pantacle look... Well, Pantacle was more... Regal, right? It's meant to be look all... Posh and stuff. Not like... Futuristic war stuff like that. Damn. You right there, Lyle? I think you should probably take a break. <laughs> Bro is struggling. <laughs> oh dear. He's only used, he, all, all he's good at is chasing ladies, not this. Oh god. Oh, I just tagged along with you. To, I should try. Oh god, my back. <laughs> Relatable, am I right? But what are those things? Solid metal? <laughs> they're so damn heavy. And there he is, just picking up and hauling them out over and over again like they're nothing. I was just thinking about how Julian got so popular. I think that's where, there's my answer. I think it's a pretty face. Jeez. Seriously, Erebonia's been through some shears. So it wouldn't surprise me if everyone in Erebonia is jacked from all the repairs that they had to do. Oh, but that. Thought I might learn his secret by tagging up with him on this. But man, he's got brains and the brawl. Actually, you're so much like. Oh, what's his name? Oh, the one who's the student from um, Falls Branch Campus. Oh, my God, what's his name? He's always simping after people. And he's, a, he's trying to be a. Sydney, right? Sydney. He's so much like Sydney. And a total lady killer face too. Yeah, you jealousy doesn't work though. You gotta be proud of yourself. Work on your own 
confidence and you'll get there, my friend. That's a life lesson for everyone as well. All right, I think that's all the broken grass swapped out. The storefronts? Really? It's been like an hour. Okay, there's still bullet holes. Okay, <laughs> I did not notice the bullet holes. But it's all broken grass swapped out. The storefront should be fine by now. I'm just trying to do what I can. Where I was raised, you were expected to pitch in to help the community in crisis like these. Okay, what else needs to be done? Sounds like Lyle's tucking himself out. I'm going to cover thing. <laughs> Where were you? I want to know exactly where in Erebonia you're from. I want to know if you're in them. Anyway. Yeah, that's a lot of bullet holes. And fire mark. Yeah, they got a lot to do still, but, you know. They're getting through it. Oh. Is James helping the elderly? You know what, James? You're not like Griffith. You're alright, I think. Oh, thank you so much, young man. Hmm. Oh, is your uniform from that big school in the capital? My, you're just an upstanding young man. <laughs> acting. Well, no, that ain't nothing. I just happen to be here. You're embarrassing me, geezer. <laughs> just call her a geezer. My God. I was going to bounce, but this old fart had to trip up. Okay, now you are still a bit of a douche, aren't you? I thought maybe this was some character growth developing, but no, you're still a douche. Anyway, but this old fart had to trip and fall in front of me. It wasn't nothing. Don't need no thanks. I don't want to stick around here any longer. James has always been a bit rough around the edges, but well... Yes, he's got his reasons for acting like a jerk. <laughs> but you know, he's got a good side to him. He shows a little bit of that sometimes. Yeah, yeah. It's very relatable to someone else I know, right? Who's a massive jerk and a bit of a douche, but is actually not a bad guy. Is that ringing any bells? Oh, that's good. Hello. Oh, thank you ever so much. I said to go out and get my groceries in spite of everything going on. It is warm, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Boom. Just watch your stinking feet, okay? It's still rubble everywhere. Oh dear, you're right. I could use a hand. Can you help me, young man? What? Uh, uh, hell no. I... <laughs> you have to help old people. <sighs> Wrecked. Now there's something about Sasha. I'm very curious. She's just an NPC, but she's got fascinating stuff going on. Red left me in charge here. I'm trying to coordinate all the students so we can get everything sorted out. The student council's helping me out, which is a big help. But I'm still nervous. There's a lot of time before that special unit gets here in the evening. Anything could happen before then. What about the phone call? I just need to make sure the students are all safe and accounted for. Mmm, sus. I'm trying to keep all the students inside, but I've had make a couple exceptions so far. Julie and Lyle volunteered to help with the cleanup out there, so I let them outside. But then James stuck out again. God, he's just such a handful. Well, I'll keep my eyes out for him and whatever else comes up. You guys be careful too. Not just me, right? She was on the phone call this summer. Even Van and Arne even said, I wonder who they're talking to. And you're not going to bring it up? God damn it, game. Oh, God. Oh, it's Albert. Again. Don't you worry about us, Anyas. She wasn't worried about you at all. Not even slightly. Get over it, my dude. Communications are up and running again. And we're getting all the students in touch with their families. It's just, it kind of doesn't feel like safe with that cruiser hanging around in the air like that. But I digress. You should, you guys shouldn't have anything to worry about now. God damn. Thank you. Stay safe for safe. Stay safe for safe. Stay safe yourself, okay? I can't speak. If things hit the fam, guys, like you, gotta step up and get everybody's safety. You got me? Well, well, yeah, you'd have to tell me twice. God damn, just be normal. <laughs> Everything good? Yeah, he's not He's not talking to type that bloke. Hello, Shinom. Boom, 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 boom. I finally got in touch with my family. Oh, God, each of my shoulder. Phew, I can finally catch a breath. Mum and Dad were both worried, and I can't blame them, of course. First, we get caught up in a terror. Bad people attack. I'm sorry, Yuji, don't hate me. On a field trip, but now we've got special forces taking us in. Just my luck, huh? Just like I walked in on the sex set of an action movie by mistake. <laughs> it kind of is like that, to be fair. I mean, if I was a kid, this would be awesome. Because I was young and stupid and not aware of how dangerous it is, but it would be awesome. I could barely keep myself together. I'm doing a lot better today, thankfully. It still just doesn't feel real. I don't have the time to dwell on that. Gotta keep trucking, right? And it on, yes? Odette, Albert, Julian, they're all amazing. Just putting themselves out there to help with that second thought. Aw, oh, you're helping in your own way, Shion. Who are you? Which one are you? <gasps> Hello, Odette. I like Odette. Odette's my favorite. She's cute. Boom. We helped out with the evacuation yesterday. That sort of led us to the hotel. It's tough. Holding up in a crap little room isn't good for anybody's mental health right now. Yeah, imagine doing that. <laughs> it's so relatable. <laughs> Don't push yourself too much, okay? You especially are yes. If things get too much, we're always here to help. Thank you, Odette. We all, we all need to do our part. I wonder if they are going to be like similar to Fools. 
Well, we actually have to call them and they actually fight for us or something. That'd be dope. Yep, yep, you can count on me. I reckon you're a mage, right? You give me the mage vibe. Ren's plenty busy, so we need to pick up the slack as her fellow council members. We'll hold down the fort here. Be careful out there, okay, Agnes? You're right, Odette. You're a Aaron. Why is there always one character that... Oh, oh where's he gone? Hey! <laughs> There's always one character that gets stuck on literally everything. It's hilarious. Hey, it's Dick. How you doing, Dick? Hmm. Well, good to see Millie is okay. Oh, yeah. She almost got killed by a robot, but we saved her. That would be really depressing, because I like Millie. I want what my rival getting in injured. There's no point in kicking someone while they're down, you know? You're a good lad, Dick. That's true. Never kick someone while they're down. I want to beat her at her best. Once the town's back to normal, you bet your butt I'm challenging her to another race. One and one this time. You could do that, Dick. You know what? You deserve a win now and again. Because obviously he needs it because, you know, his name's terrible. He was cursed from childhood by his parents. Can I go down here? Is that right with you, Mr. Secret Agent? Right? Yeah, it sure is. I want to check the only in here. As always, because sometimes in these games, not often, but randomly there could just be a secret or like a sub-event in the most random places that you could easily miss. So, no, we're... Nice backflip, man. Now we're good. <laughs> what up, you scared? Give on another look. Come it real far this time. Yeah, yes, Chief. I said I was going to do the accent, but I immediately did it. <laughs> Is something wrong? Anything we can help with? I wish. It was that simple, but nope. Ain't nothing you folks can help with. Guess it wouldn't hurt to fill you in, though. Ooh. Something gone wrong? What? Parts of that weapon prototype went missing. I mean, to be fair, if I was an Almata or Mafioso Sos, I would go for the giant robot as well. I mean, it's gonna happen. Yep, plus, close the goddamn garage door! Just close it! Yep, we found out found it out when we were looking into Callahan's disappearance. Most of the recent parts are still there. It's not like the whole thing went up and vanished. But there are little bits and pieces of our inventory missing. Our order sheets don't add up. I'm gonna stop now. And we haven't been able to find the missing parts anywhere. It's not just a few of them either. We're missing huge chunks of infantry. Too much stuff to count. Well, that's a bit alarming. <laughs> Mildly alarming. Not too bad, but pretty bad. You're talking about that weapon you showed us earlier, right? Yeah, that definitely ain't good. And you're right. I don't know how we could help with that. It smells like an inside job to me. Are we going to have to fight that giant robot? Probably. No way the world famous Cascade Workshop is just track of infantry like that. Damn straight. A lot of us here know about the weapon. But still highly confidential product. Then close the door. <laughs> People could just look in easily. Taking extra steps to make sure nothing gets out. And of all the times, this had, hap had to happen right after when a mouth was off at Tao's end. Shameful, I tell you. You order parts online, don't you? Remember you showed me that si how that system worked. Do you think this inventory shortfall might be related to the network problems the city's been having? Our youngsters suggested the same thing. It's not entirely off the table, no. I just like to think we're being we were being more careful than that. How can we not be given everything that's going on. That's understandable. Yeah, I find it hard to believe it was just an accident. With how careful everyone's been, this feels premeditated. Mm. Sorry, just every time that drop is just so good. Yeah, with all the weird shit going on, it's hard to chalk anything up to coincidence right now. There's just so much going on. We'll keep an eye out for any leads about your parts though. God damn right we will, Fairy. Thanks. Man, I'm sorry folks, we're so fighting a giant robot. We're so fighting a giant robot. You got enough on your plate about us and our stupid supply hiccups. We're still trying to find Callahan, but we haven't got any good leads yet. Our best bet is that he's off somewhere. He's somewhere off the beaten path. Might hold himself up somewhere on purpose, even. Does sound like a good guess. I mean, he's in the computer, though, right? No, oh, he's probably in a different computer. <laughs> okay, never mind. Well, if you learn anything, let us know. Hmm. Hmm. So Callahan's new super AI. As if we didn't have enough on our plate, now we've got this. We look real bad right now, you do. Because you don't close the gate. Look, Dick. Look at Dick in the background. Good old Dick is looking directly into you. People who live in the building behind Dick can see the robot. Honestly. How do you screw up the math on this? The numbers don't add up. So you must have made a mistake somewhere and compounded on it. We'll look into this, but we've got our hands full with Callahan too. You guys learn anything? Let us know. I right. Of course I will. Okay. Yes. Also, I've thought about trying to build or any upgrades. There isn't anything, really. I don't need anything. I could probably beat the game with what I have. I know it's probably, <laughs> probably not, but I feel like I could. Anyway. 
Hey, Milia! How are you? You're adorable, you know. Dad says he's heading out to help with the repairs. Everyone here in the workshop is really busy now. There's got to be something I can do to help. Oh, maybe it's some computer work that he's doing. I'm good with those. Oh, I can't do back-end stuff, but I might be able to help out with stuff like set up diagnosing network problems. It's worth a shot. Again, every kid in Zamira is a genius. They're all really good. <laughs> if I was your age, I would not know how to do anything. I still don't, but you know. Let's move along, shall we? No, no. Jacket Man's car, he's in there, isn't he? Where are you, Jacket Man? I can smell you. A bit weird to say that, but I can. Ooh, bullet holes. Boom, let's go. Oh, hello, Ren. Again, of course, she knows the braces. Obviously. <laughs> Couldn't have timed your arrival better. Hello, everyone. Oh, Jacket Man. Ren, we're not expecting to find you here. You want something from us? The opposite. I have something for you. A little piece of intel. Oh, thank you. Uh, do you have to go blabbing to them about it? Hey, don't spoil her fun, Killjoy. Ladies don't like a hard <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, Alright, boys, simmer down. Now it's not time for mouthing off. I like Regina. Also, she's very attractive. And everyone is. We know. So what's this info about? To the surprise of no one, a matter was behind an explosion in Anchorville. Nah. <laughs> Sounds like it's a mess out there right now. After working out that Amata had corporate help. Yeah, a lot of high ranking braces are stuck there right now trying to sort everything out. Honestly, I'd really rather be out there right now. Which, I mean, this is still pretty terrible. This is actually the worst place. You should want to be here. Anyway. Yeah, after yesterday, we're not leaving anytime soon. Indeed, I'm so positive that the attack on Anchorville was just a diversion. Basel has to be their main target. In fact, we know a little more about the agents who unleashed the archaisms in the city yesterday. I strongly believe it was the same duo you met in Longport. Them again? Mm. Viola and Alexander. They caused a ton of trouble back in Longport too. That's certainly not good. That said, we shouldn't have to worry about them here now that Marduk is in town. How many men have they got? You talking just one area or the whole city? They have enough people on the ground to rival a large Jaeger Corps with vastly better equipment. Marduk is epic. Although knowing trails, they're probably evil as well. <laughs> Their chief of security in particular is a real force of nature. Of course, I imagine you all know that pretty well already. Kassim, aww. Yup, Gramps here to describe him as one of the strongest Jaegers to... What? You're now calling me Gramps? I'm now so old to Aaron, I'm now a granddad. It's because he knows I turned 30, so that's why he's calling me that. Douche. Strongest Jaegers to walk the earth. It's funny, guy's got his baby face, doesn't even look 30. I don't look 30 either, do I? <laughs> no, anyway, but he gives us this vibe like he could kick your ass into next week. At any rate, the city's in good hands with him, patrolling around. We've still got to figure out what our matter's plotting next, though. Speaking of, you confirmed those two you encountered yesterday were connected to the Garlands, click? Yeah, so they were overseers. They, that checks out. They've got four units and an overseer in charge of each one. Wow, that just super lagged. Did that just skip something? No. Wow, that broke. The two of them seem to be connected to our matter differently, though. Melchior is both an overseer and a high-ranking executive in our matter. But his cohort said that she was only a contractor. Talk about complicated. I wonder what the story there is. Mm. We're not much the wiser than you guys there. I thought, again, why in here? <laughs> what do we do now? Oh my god. Brain work. What we do know is that the most monstrous mafia and the most vile assassins to ever live have joined hands. And that ain't good. Indeed, after we have Basel taken care of, we need to devise a strategy for dealing with them. Have you managed to learn anything more about what our mess is up to here? Unfortunately not. If anything, we were hoping you might have a lead on where Professor Callahan might be. I wish I did. I'm not too familiar with the geography of this area. I tried to see if I could find anything on the net. They covered the tracks, unfortunately. Sorry for coming up empty hand. It's alright, Ren. You can never disappoint us. Don't worry about it. It really wasn't going to be that easy. Aside from that, my only other advice is to keep the Septian veins in mind. More relevant than you might think. Oh, Valimar, remember we used to fast travel in hyperspace through the spirit of it? I miss my boy. God damn. He's still, he's, he's still around though, we do know this. In Reen's new mech, kind of, right? Septian veins. I recall Rosette mentioning those recently, actually. They do have a tendency to affect the oral network in particular. At first glance, they appear unrelated. We have no way to prove that they were related at all. Until a certain phenomenon in Crossbell demonstrates that the two can affect each other under the right conditions. <gasps> Elysium. This incident here is eerily reminiscent of what happened a year and a half ago. Just my hunch, though. 
Again, hunch is always correct. Well, it does make a lot of sense. Yeah, thanks for the pointer. Well, we're going to get back to tracking down Callahan. What are you three up to? We'll be doing the rounds to keep the city under control. Can't just leave it all to Marduk. Oh, they're doing the rounds as well. Everyone's doing the rounds, Benjamin. Yeah, they're good. Don't get me wrong, but they're even shadier than you guys are. I mean, again, besides Aaron, we're not shady. Go on and say, I don't trust them. I'll be helping out too until there's some other development that demands my attention. You're going to be a guest character, please. I need to keep an eye on all the other students as well. Is it going to be really dark in here, isn't it? It's one in the afternoon. The sunniest day of, you know, time of the day. And I need to check how dark it is. One second. <laughs> wow, it does look dark. Like, the, the gain and the lights are really high. We're all waiting for you here. Agnes, Odette, and Albert too. Don't forget that, okay? There you go. I turn it down a little bit. <laughs> boom, boom. I won't. Please be careful, Ren. Aw. Join the party. Where are you, Ren? Where's Ren? Oh. Hiding behind the wall, Ren, honestly. I'll keep looking on the, my end, of course. A certain factory is counting on me among other people and groups. Can't I can turn a blind eye to all of this? I've left Sasha in charge of the other students. I'm sure she'll be able to handle things for the rest of the day. There's something with Sasha for show. I'd like to have another chat with Professor Cronkite, too, if I get the chance. I hope my hunch is off, but if it isn't, I have lots of things to look into. At least Ren's actually operating under the assumption that her hunches could be right. Unlike literally everyone else in Trails. <laughs> Anyway, Yin had told me that Ren was capable, and goodness, he wasn't kidding. Capable is almost underselling, or it is. It is underselling. She had our issues diagnosed in a flash, and she points out the potential link to the network and the septum veins, too. She's wise beyond her years, for certain. It's a shame that she exper that experience had to come from the sort of trouble she referenced. Hmm. Well, what? well, she's an excellent mind. We can't push all the work onto her. She's still a child, after all. We adults need to pull our own weight. Yeah, goddamn right, jacket man. Honestly, Blanco's badly injured. Oh no! In the assault, but the doctors are saying she's in a stable condition now. That's a huge relief. I didn't think our matter would wreck this much, have it? Oh yeah, of course, because she she went up against Jacket, uh, green haired douche, and the doll. So yeah, respect to her though. Have they no mercy? We need to do everything we can to stop them, and we won't rest until they're brought to justice. You'll stay safe out there. God damn right, we will bring them to justice. Hello, Jacket man. I'm gonna talk to you from behind. Make it weird. No, oh, we're gonna head out pretty shortly ourselves. Alex should be able to hold down the fort, especially with Ren helping out. If our matter does want Basel, there's no way this is their only planned attack. They're going to be back for more someday, with a giant robot. Right. That's all the more reason why we've got to stop them in their tracks. God damn right, Jacket Man. That was... That was almost inspirational. Oh, there's someone upstairs. That was almost a good um, speech he gave. I'm shocked. Oh, there's two people here. Oh, oh. Oh. I mean, she looks dead, right? Not just me. She looks like she, she's not blinking or moving. Is she dead? <laughs> I might have broken a bone or two, but I'll be okay. This shouldn't slow me down that much. I just can't believe what they did to Professor Callahan. They really are dangerous. I agree, but please don't push yourself. Just leave this to all to us, all right? We sort all this out. Promise. I'm sure you will. Hit <laughs> Carl Marduk showing us showing us up more than they already have. <laughs> do I had to change the camera angle because it was looking rude. This is going to be really sketchy with Blanca out of the commission, but we can't let her let that get to us. We've got a cover for her. We're counting on you too. Let us know if you learn anything out there. No. Van should just become a bracer already. You're so... You get, oh, well. Oh, no. I don't want to make her have to lift the head up. My God. I'm ashamed that you had to see me like that yesterday. I have no excuses. They overpower me, plain and simple. Don't beat yourself up over it. Make it one of my guys too. Happens to the best of us. Oh, Rosette. She'll be fine. She got bionic, even more bionic -y limbs, I hope. Just getting out of there alive is reason enough to celebrate. I agree. The fact that you were able to hold them off for that long brought us valuable time. Heh. <laughs> Guess you're right. Yeah. Look on the bright side, huh? <laughs> we need, a, you need your help a whole lot and a whole lot more if we're to even stand a chance against our matter and the gardens. I'm counting on you. Don't let them get away with this. We won't. God damn right. That goes without saying. You bet your ass will bring them to justice, sisters. Um. um yes. We need your help and a whole lot more if we're to stand a chance against a matter and the gardens. We're counting on you, don't let them get away with this. No, we won't. We're going to take them down, Legend. We're going to take them all the way down. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, why is she going to be injured? We're going to see her on there. Ooh. Aw. Hello. My little, my darling. <laughs> I really like Rosette, okay? Like I said last episode, it was the last one, right? That she might be my number one waifu right now. Just saying. Oh, hello. How's your investigation going? 
Oh, you're up already? Please take it easy, Rizip. We just have you awake temporarily before we start doing the nerve work. Actually, pain. Oh, shit, sorry. Really mean to bother you. Not at all. I'm glad to see you, and it's good that you're still hard at work. I'll be going back to sleep now. Thank you for... <laughs> it's so lovely. Be careful out there. Oh, god damn it. Damn, out like a light. she has got it rough. She really does. I was expecting her to wake up like that. She must have really wanted to see you. <laughs> oh god, the feels. She might be conscious again, but she's not lucid most of the time. She must have heard your footsteps or otherwise noticed you coming. Man, she's a real trooper. All the more reason to make good on that. Oh, she's in your hands. We'll give her the good news when she wakes up. Don't worry, I'll take good care of her. She'll be, be all better by the time you get back. And that's a promise. Thank you. You better keep her alive, okay? She means everything. You do not let her die. If you need parts, I can sacrifice Aaron. I'll do it. If you need more limbs or whatever, I'll do it, okay? Let's leave her be for now. We've got our own work to do. Let's come back with the good news for her. Or catch her. I've got more limbs if you want some of these. I'll do it. I'll do anything, okay? Attachment process does hurt, unfortunately. But I'll do my best to make it as quick as possible. Rosette is already familiar with artificial limbs as, it's, as it happens. So that should make it easier for her to adjust to them. And I've got my Duke helping me out too. We'll make sure it's done right. We'll save you. We'll kick that goddamn green-haired douche in the teeth one day, okay? Seriously. Can we kill him already? It's been too long. It's been almost the entire game. And he's still alive. Barry still needs to shoot him in his face. Don't you? Yes, you do. Anyway, that's everything except the last red thingy. I left one, so obviously, over. I was worried that if I did talk that, it would skip everything. I don't think it will. I think it'd probably say rest for the day or whatever, but I want to be safe, so let's go. Oh, you're here. He misses his van. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Oh, there he is. I'm glad we didn't have to go on a wild goose chase to find you today. Mm, you are sussy, though. Again, the white streak. Ah, if it's the Sprigham, you know like you have something more to discuss with me. Damn right we do. Imagine you're already privy to the situation, so we don't need to bring you up to speed. Right now, we're trying to get everything under control ourselves, but the government intervenes any further. So that's why I want to ask you about... Me? What exactly do I have to do with all this? Mm. Yeah, um... I will admit my curiosity is piqued by the developments here. Marduk is an interesting wrinkle in the story. So are Professor... As are Professor Callahan's, shall we say, inadvisable efforts. I do plan to stay and watch how this all pans out. As I said yesterday, uh, can you at least let me finish before you're dismissing me? <laughs> yeah, goddamn. I've had to face a lot of hard truths over the past few days. I am made to realise just how lacking I am and how much I still have to learn. I know that it's impossible to rectify all of that overnight, but there are still things I want to protect, no matter the cost. Goddamn, epic music every time. All I want is for your feedback on a hypothesis of mine. I won't ask for any more of your help than that. Go on. That was an evil look. I. Dude, I wanted to see his face. He's like a... Ooh, evil face. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. Damn. Professor Callahan all but lives on the network now. That goal of his contradicts the actions he took. One thing doesn't add up to... He might be trying to stop it. Maybe he thought the only way to stop this would be to go in and... He might be not all bad, I don't know. Why did he simply let the Mafia destroy the Aurora? Huh? That's a good question. I agree. That is an obvious contradiction. If they intend to use weapons of mass destruction, they must figure out how to invent and produce them. They simply don't exist yet. Professor Callahan's AI only solves one part of the problem. Even with functional blueprints, there are no means to produce them. The AI is essential in their research efforts, holds more computational power than any other machine in Brazil. And if they no longer have it, that begs another question. How will they produce these nuclear weapons without the means to invent them? This is way too big for my brain. <laughs> An astute observation. Can't say no, can you? Something tells me you wanted to help him out all along, in spite of your crotchety old man head. <laughs> I am simply giving him the feedback you requested. It will be up to him to prove his theory, though. Just from what I've heard so far, you'll find the answer soon enough. Are you like, can you like read the future or something? Hmm, Yang. You are correct. People do not grow and change overnight. But having watched you, I can see how you've matured over the years. I look forward to seeing you grow into a well-rounded scientist, just as Professor Hamilton did. Perfect. Time with the music. Oh wow, that was it. Okay, well, there you. Thank you. I will. You might Callahan might be trying to redeem himself. I don't know. He really, is like a brother to you, huh? It's more helpful than he wants to admit. Curious when he, where he gets going after he leaves Basel. I guess that ain't my business. 
Where's he go, legend? I agree. And besides, it's not our place to tell him how to live his life. We need to focus on our own work right now. You're right. That is everything. Right? Please say I can, I can like, rest or something. I need to say it. We've got a lot of info to work with now. Yeah, but I can't wrap my head around how it all fits together. Me neither, Aaron, to be fair. Maybe talking it out will help. Is there a place where we can chat in private? We can always head back to the inn. Actually, how about you all come to my place? We don't have to worry about people listening in there. Oh, oh no, we could pose on you like that. <laughs> oh no, no, no. I want to go in his mansion. I want to go in his mansion. I really don't mind. And I will grant, um, Professor Hamilton. It's her house, but I'm the only one who lives there right now. Damn. He's got a, he's got a mansion like that at 14. Ah, cool, we'll take you up on that offer. Kind of curious to see how... See the home of one of Epstein's three disciples. Oh, I wouldn't expect too much. It's just... How is it lagging on the black screen? There's visually nothing. <laughs> just a normal Harmony home. Anyway, we can head over whenever you'd like. Okay, we will. Boom, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of the episode. This, I don't know how... I have no idea how long this one's going to be. Like, this could either be like an hour and a half what, in all said and done, or maybe it could be like 50 minutes. I don't know. Either way, I think this is this is how I should have been doing it the entire playthrough. I shouldn't have been so, like, regimented, you know, have to, this is that part. That's the forest PG. Because it just means this has just gone on for 500 years. <laughs> I want to finish this by Christmas, okay? <laughs> At least before Christmas. Anyway, yes, if you like what we saw, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you lads and the deaths in the next one, which I assume the beginning of the end, right? I don't think there's anything else. This is day three or four, so this is the end, or proceeding to the end, so... Is there a person over there? There is, anyway, yes, yeah, so, uh, yeah. Buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to see Chapter 4's finale, maybe? Or at least part of it, I don't know. Anyway, yes, Charles.